and welcome to another video. On this video we will talk about the most famous clone on the market. You know very good the name is Delphi. And because this is the most famous clone for the diagnosis, I decide to make a video showing you which components you should change. Because this clone it will work for at least 10 years and it's the uh, most used even today. I decide to make this video because a lot of you are asking me which component I should change and I don't have connection with Opel or I don't have connection with BM or something like that. And after this you work, uh, this clone it would work for, I don't know, 80-90%. It, it is not 100% uh, functional. But if you want to have 100% hardware functionality, you should buy the original one. I tell you all the time, I refer myself, if you are a professional one, you should buy the original one. This is a clone coming from a friend of mine. He bought this one from AliExpress. And I do have a few components for a long time and I, I can change for him. I don't know, for example, uh, if at this moment you will find these uh, chips. Like always, I will take a picture and I will move to the desktop because the clarity and the quality of the picture is much uh, better than uh, this video. I am not so professional guy with the video technology, then I will try to make my best. But as I said, you, you need good quality and you need to see about what I'm speaking. And I will show also what I will change, what I do have here. You notice this is the, the new model. Uh, all these chips are branded. I will put also a picture and you will see. But here on the back of the board here I, i'm sure you are able to see this 9241a chip if you notice this one should be also the same you can clearly see this this both chips they are fake they are clones because from what i know i'm not so sure if i do a mistake or not from 2016 uh, these original chips are not anymore available. Then the original company, I mean the company who produced these original chips, they don't have for a long, long time for sale. And this is clearly Chinese quality, okay? But as I said, I don't want to tell you something wrong, then we will uh, see together on the website if I will find this one or not and I will mention over there. Uh, as you can notice you have these relays here. I'm not uh, sure if these are original or not but you can check these relays if they are good or not. You should check the voltage and you should che check the resistance and you can clearly see this is a good quality clone. You don't have missing components over here. And also on the back of the board, it is good populated, Not, nothing are missing, then all these chips are over here. Good quality clone, it should look like this one. And from here, it is not so much to show you, we will move to desktop and I will show you the few components what is necessary to change if you want to have a good connection and good functionality of this programmer. Before starting to showing you all these components, what uh, you should change it on this board, I want to mention that when you change these chips and everything, the transistors and diodes and all these relays, after in investing your money on this clone, you can have a bad surprise and this clone it doesn't work. And it's very easy to understand why, because you can have missing uh, tracks on the board. Before that, you should measure if you have the voltage there and if you have all these connections how you can do that of course you need the schematic like this one for example okay this is a schematic of this board on the single board of the, the clone this is the functionality and you can figure it out if you have missing lights on the board. Or you will see on this uh, video components in name can interface or I don't know 
voltage regulator you should change all of them with good quality like for example here I do have a lot of questions my diagnostic doesn't communicate with my car I cannot communicate with 2015 or 2016 or also older cars why because for example this is a CAN interface chip okay you should change these chips if you want to have good connection it's very important to change these chips also these filters change both of them they are not expensive and they play a very important functionality on your board relays they are saying they are uh, next japan i don't believe that but you should keep in mind if you want to change 21 relays you should multiply with four euro per each pieces and definitely will be very expensive what you can do you can measure the, the functionality of these relays i do have a video there showing you how you can measure this relays and you will be able to find if you have a bad relay replace only th that relay because as i said it they are very expensive not the price is very expensive you have one or two but if you want to change 21 and each one will be four euro for example you will pay over 85 euro 80 euro depends how much will cost you this, uh, this price you will pay for all the board and also what is very important i want to mention this bluetooth it should look like this one okay you have the smallest one on the very bad clones they will never work they are very old bluetooth 2 i believe over there this one is bluetooth 4 at least should look like this one but when you will buy this adapter for bluetooth separately you will pay over 10 euro and you, when you want to change also the relay then definitely this price is what you will pay for a clone then the difference is when you want to buy a clone at least buy a clone with full chips over there and a good quality clone okay the chip ftdi chip at this moment is not available uh, it's available but it's after one one year i believe something like that is the delivery time and on the good quality clone it works good it's not that, uh, so important to change this component logical gate definitely change as i mentioned earlier when you have voltage regulators it's a must if you want to have good functionality electrolytic capacitor they are not expensive and you have only two of them also replace uh, these two capacitors this voltage regulator on many bad clones is missing you should check for that before you buy this one if it's here leave it also the quality from china is not so bad you can leave it the microcontroller i saw it's around 15 euro if you really want to focus only uh, on this clone and using only this clone and you don't want to use another one and to have a good connection and good speed change also the microcontroller if not leave it like that it's good quality uh, with these two chips it's very hard to find them you can find only the fake one as i said maybe i make a mistake but the uh, original one it doesn't exist anymore if you know another chip who can replace this one leave a comment over there on youtube maybe you'll help also other subscribers because there's still a lot of people who use this clone there are also a lot of beginners who start for the first time with diagnostics and of course they buy this clone because one reason is very cheap and the second one you can have more information on the internet you can find uh, very easy how you can do different stuffs and different work on the car and it's also very easy to use the software is very friendly and if you know replacing chip who work because it's also very easy to figure it out when we go here on schematic we should pay attention how these things works you know and when you have this diagram here you can take your time and you can 
search over there for chips who have this functionality. I didn't have that time, but if you know something, please let us know in the comment. This logic gate definitely you should replace with NXP. It's the original one. It's also logo here. It is replaced and it's good. And believe me, when you replace these chips, you will see the speed on your diagnostic will increase a lot. I change also this one. You should change also this one. Can interface, as I mentioned earlier, it will help you to don't have problem anymore with connection. But I repeat myself, also if you change all these components, it doesn't mean you have 100% functionality of this clone. Because the name is clone, it's not original. This one is it's available and it's not expensive. Change also the chip, also this one. This uh, transceiver, it play a very important role on the board. You should also change this one. It's available. I put the shortcut diodes over here because when I do a job and a full rework, it's a full rework, but these components, they are not bad also when they are coming from China, they work. But in this case, for example, for diodes, it will cost you around 80 or 90 cent. Then it's not big deal. If you really want to make a full rework, change also these shortcut diodes and on, and also a transistor of this port. You have the numbers here, search for, for this number for example, and this is the number like uh, WYV4 number put it on, on this board, but actually this one is the component. Transistors, they are very cheap, change. If you don't want to change, also you should take a measurement and if they work you can leave it there again we have here another voltage regulator here change also this one this gate drivers change all three uh, they are a little bit expensive but after that uh, you can tell you have a 90% good functionality of this board if you don't want to change, until now I didn't find problem with these components, uh, they are working perfect, but they are not original, keep this in mind. Another kind of interface, shortcut diodes, it's up to you again, different type of, of transistors or shortcut diodes. If you are noticed, we are finished now with rework and after replacing these components you should not have any more problem when you try to communicate with uh, different brands okay i hope this video it was useful for you and i hope now you are able to repair and make a rework on this clone because i still got a lot of questions related to if this delfino it doesn't work it doesn't communicate okay you know now the answer you should replace all this chips with CAN interface name, all of them from the board and also the voltage regulators. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like this video and see us the next one. Bye bye.